Hello and welcome. I'm Elizabeth Hastings, director of the Queen's College Opera. Much to my amazement, I am speaking to you from the Lafrat Concert Hall in the Aaron Copeland School of Music. I have not been on this campus in over a year. I'm here to do a little bit of piano playing and to preside over the three days of filming required to put this production together. It's been a rough year for our singers. Last March, we were three weeks away from the opening night of our Puccini double bill when we had to cancel the production. Like the rest of the world, we went on pandemic pause. In the fall, we were all set to tackle a little night music, but because our licensing agreement did not allow for recording, we would have been unable to do virtual performances and that project was abandoned. These folks needed to sing, they needed to perform, and I finally came up with the idea of doing solo scenes. Solo pieces, staged and costumed, that could be filmed from home if need be. The performance couldn't be sabotaged by the closing of a venue. The singing of an aria couldn't be jeopardized by an ailing colleague. And all the pieces on this program were in the public domain. All our preparation has been done remotely. Rehearsing the music and staging, even costume fittings were all done on Zoom. In fact, there are seven singers I'm meeting for the first time this week. We are thrilled that you chose to join us today. We look forward to the time when we can perform for you and hear your applause live. Till then, we are, for a little while longer, going solo. Enjoy.
dallo zio cacciato da tutti abbandonato mi restava un amico e un coperto nemico ti scopro in lui che io dani miei congiura Fece lei d'esprimere in un foglio i sensi miei. Ora in altra contrada i giorni grami a trascinar si vada. Thank you. 
watching the blot. But the lock and the clock. Unrequited robs me of my rest. Love, hopeless love, my ardent soul encumbers. Love, nightmare like, lies heavy on my chest and weaves itself. Into my midnight slumbers When you're lying awake 
awake with a dismal headache and reposes tempered by anxiety. I conceive you may use any language you choose to indulge him without impropriety. For your train is on fire and the bed must conspire of usual slumber to plunder you. And your back counterpane goes and uncovers your toes and you sleep with him nearly from under you. The blanketing tickles you, feels like his pickles so terribly sharp as the pricking. And your hearts and your cross and you tumble and toss, does nothing to you and the ticking. And the bed clothes are creeped to the ground in a heap and you pick them all up in a tangle. And your pillow resigns and politely declines, remain at its usual angle. Well, you get some repose in the form of a door, shots, eyeballs, and head ever aching. But your slumbering team, such horrible dreams, very much better be waking. For you dream you are crossing the tattle and tossing a belt in a steamer from Harwich, which is something between a large bathing machine and a very small second class carriage. And you're giving a treat, penny ice and cold meat, to a party of friends and relations that are ravenous horde and they all come aboard at some square and some cancer and stations. And bound in that journey, you find an attorney who starts this morning from Devon. He's a bit undersized, so you don't feel surprised when he tells you, I'm only 11. But you're driving like mad with a singular lad. By the by, the ship's now a four-wheeler. And you're playing around games when he calls you bad names and you tell him the ties made the dealer. But this you can't stand, so you throw up your hand and you find you're as cold as an icicle. And your shirts and your socks are black, so go clocks. Cause the sounds pretty plain on a bicycle. And he and the crew are on bicycle suit, which they've somehow or other invested in. And he's telling the tars and the particulars company he's interested in. It's a scheme of devices to get at low prices of goods and cough mixers to cables, which tickle the sailors by treating with tailors as though they were all vegetables. You get a good space and some plenty of small trains, and then take off his root with a boot tree. And his legs will take root, and his fingers will shoot, and a blossom and bud like a fruit tree. Green goes the tree, you get grapes and green peas, cauliflower, kind apple, and cranberry. While the pace of black cherry brandy will grant a plus three quarters of Banbury. The shares are penny, and ever so many are taken by Russia than bearing. And just as if you are allotted to you, you awake with a shudder despairing. <sighs> Regular wreck with a crick in your neck, and no wonder you snore for your heads in the floor, and your needles and pins from your soul your shit, but you flesh of the creek cause your left up to sleep, to crap in your tongue and some fly in your lung, to fluff in your lung and a feverish tongue and a thirst is intense in a general sense to have it been sleeping in clover. Darkness has passed, and it's daylight at last, and a night has been long to tow, to tow my song. And thank goodness they're both of them over.
certain girl named Kate. What was it that Katie did? What's the secret Katie did? Some admit it, say she did it. Others tell you Katie didn't, Katie didn't know she did. They roast Never see.
Sing, 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 sing,